Ah, well, best get to it then, eh? Hello everyone, this is Dan, your resident Digimon fan. Welcome back to the channel where it is inevitably <laughs> news time. There's a lot of stuff that's been going on in the Vital Bracelet world in particular in the last week or so, and I've been itching to make a video about it. However, I didn't want to go into it because it seemed like new details are being released every single day. In fact, by the time I release this video, I'm sure that it will be out of date. Um, but I'm going to release what I have now. There's some other things going on as well, so I just wanted to cover off a sort of like news time roundup, the first time I've done something like that, where I'll be covering all of the things which I've been keeping an eye on in the last week or so. So let's get started with the Digimon card game. So first of all, just a quick reminder that the next uh, Digimon card game set, the Digital Hazard set EX02, is due to release on the 24th of June, which is a week today at the time of recording, so that's pretty cool, looking forward to that one. And the English card list is now available on the Digimon card game website, so we've got all of these lovely cards in full English. I'm not going to have a look through them, we've had a quick look at them in the previous news time episode where we talked about the set. Um, if you want to have a look, go on to the Digimon card website and now you can get through those but for me I'm gonna wait until we get the full set in our hands and we can open up the pack so looking forward to this one. Next up is Digimon Survive so this is a game which I've been keeping an eye on for a little while it looked like it essentially disappeared and at the beginning of the year we had no idea where Digimon Survive was uh, but now we've got the release date I think the release date's been known for a little while but we've got some updated trailers with release dates and it is now coming out on the 29th of July this year which is really really soon it's coming out on PS4 Xbox One PC and Nintendo Switch I'll be getting it on PC most likely and uh, I'll be definitely looking to do some videos on it when the game comes out it's really cool it's uh, kind of like an old school uh, RPG where you're talking to different characters and choosing pathways and things like that, but there is also the strategy element when it comes to uh, Digimon battling on a grid. Kind of reminds me of uh, Final Fantasy Tactics if you ever played that. Um, but of course it's Digimon, so you get Digimon partners and they get to Digivolve and there's branching paths for the different Digivolutions. So really looking forward to this game. It definitely looks quite different to some of the other Digimon games that come out. But it looks really ex uh, really exciting, really awesome. Uh, definitely going to be checking this one out in July. Next on the agenda is a new Vital Bracelet. So there's a lot of Vital Bracelet news now. The rest of this video is all Vital Bracelet. But we're getting a new version of the Japanese Vital Bracelet. And this is called the Vital Bracelet BE. Now I think Bandai are shying away from having branded Vital Bracelets. So they had one for Metabots, I think and um, they have one for other brands and of course they have the Digimon one whereas now I think their Vital Bracelet BE is meant to be bringing all of that together so that you've essentially got one device that can be used for each of the different ones. Um, so the BE is an upgraded version of the Digivice V. It's the newest version. You see it comes in these cool translucent colors, which is really nice. You can see the software is definitely updated because this looks slightly different to what we're used to. However, we've still got the time. We've still got the vital points and steps. And of course, you've got the Digimon and the battery indicators. So this all looks uh, the same. There's some interesting wording in this website. Now, bear in mind, this has been translated from Japanese into English by Google, so it's not the, <laughs> the best translation you can find. But it does say things that I think are quite interesting, um, such as you can meet new characters and become your partner. Now, and that's by walking. I don't know exactly what that could mean, but it sounds like it could be a new mechanic, so I'd be really interested to see that. Um, can see here your characters will grow as you train whether this is just a semantics thing a wording thing or whether it does actually mean something is different in the way that it works then I'm not too sure I hope there is a slight change just to spice things up a, a bit but I am interested to see once they release more information about that one um, one thing which is really good is that the new BE is IPX4 resistant. So this just means it's sort of like splash and sweat resistant. It's not going to be full-blown water resistant. You can't put it under water like you could for an Apple Watch, for example. Um, but with this one, I've had a few close calls of it getting a little bit wet, and I do worry when like, I've been out for a walk or a run and it gets a bit sweaty. Um, I do worry it's going to break, so it's really nice to have that with the new Vital Bracelet. Um, we've got some other stuff here, aim for only you, yada yada yada, uh, coming soon. Now, with the um, Vital Bracelet BE, there will be new memory called BE memory, I believe. It looks slightly different to the Vital Bracelet memory, uh, to the DIM cards, but they will function in a similar way. You'll be able to have more Digimon on them, and I think Gammon is one of the... Uh, 
dim card lines that they've said will be coming for the BE, so it'll be interesting to see how that works. And they've also confirmed that the current dim cards will work with this. So for all of those like me who've spent a good amount of money on dim cards, do not fear, they will still work on this device. As you can see, we've got some other characters down here. So we've got Devil's Blade, we have My Hero Academia and Tokyo Revengers. No idea what those are, but you'll be able to have those characters on the BE as well. So it's pretty interesting. If we have a look at the Vital Bracelet series on here, we can see how it compares. So this is the current series. We've got our Cayman Rider, Ultraman and Digimon. Yeah, that's right. So this is just a way for them to have all of these different series come into one place and uh, into one device. So I think it's a smart move, honestly. Um, I know for me and people that I know, it's only really about the Digimon, but it is cool that they are looking to update this device. It'd be interesting to see if it's any more advanced than the current Vital Bracelet, like if it has any Bluetooth or anything like that. But I'm not holding my breath, this is Bandai, um, so we will see. But we don't have a release date or pricing for this just yet or more information about uh, about what it does. So once the information comes out, of course, I'll be doing an update video as well. But that's what we know on the Vital Bracelet BE. Next up, sticking with the Japanese market, we have two new DIM cards, which is pretty awesome. So these are DIM cards in the Digimon Ghost Game series, and we have Espimon and Ryudamon. Um, Espimon is a newish Digimon, I think, was only revealed recently. Ryudamon, I believe, has been around for a little while, but they're coming as a pair of DIM cars. I've got uh, Zen and TCG on screen right now, which is where I pre-ordered mine. You can also get them on Amazon.jp because they are retail release DIM cards, so definitely go and pre-order these before they sell out. $17.99 is a pretty good price. You obviously have to pay shipping to your place, and I believe that in total for me from Zen and TCG, it was about... 22 23 pounds which is it's a pretty good price for a, for a brand new set of dim cards um so in these two dim cards we've got some very interesting uh, digimon so again credit to humulus for this information as always uh definitely the best place to get this information from so once again just like with the digimon frontier dims which are due to come out later in the year we have two rookie digimon and then we've got the same number of uh, champions ultimates and megas a lot of these Digimon I don't actually recognize from the uh, sprites, so it's going to be interesting. I think this one here is Zambamon, and I think this is Ragnar Lordmon. You've got obviously the Zubamon line, um, and then you've got Ryudamon over here. Um, interesting. Musayamon, we've got Asuramon, Dokugamon, who's on the Garurumon Dim card, so nothing too new with that. But it looks like we've got some pretty cool samurai themed Digimon on this card, so that's really awesome. If we look at Espimon, We've got uh, this guy here who I can't remember the name. Is it Ludamon? I think it might be Ludamon. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. Um, and we've got, let's see, Digitamon, who is also on Garurumon Dim Card. We've got Piximon, who's awesome. Piximon is an OG. We've got Repamon, I think is the name. <laughs> oh boy. And I think maybe Creepymon, not sure. But other than this, I'm not familiar with these. We've got Ragnar Lordmon again. So he appears on both. Whether he, I'm not sure if he's a. Um, Jogress Digivolution? I don't think he is, uh, but that's cool. But yeah, so some really different and interesting DIM cards, these ones, and they will be coming out in August to September. Um, so I believe it's the end of August in Japan. So really cool. These ones definitely look about uh, picking these up and getting a pre-order in before they sell out. And then finally, the next thing, the big news for the US market, not for the UK market. Nah is that the Vital Bracelet is officially being localized for the US market. It's officially going to be known as the Vital Hero. So here we can see we have a black Vital Hero with what they call the Pulse City DIM card. So instead of Impulse City, it's Pulse City. And you can see it's completely different branding, but it's the very same product. Everything here looks the same. You've got the DM on it, just like you do the original Vital Bracelet. However, this is actually got the software of the Digivice V in it. So it's updated software compared to the Vital Bracelet original. Uh, but of course everything's going to be in English. So the Digimon's names are going to be in English. All of the menus are going to be in English, which is really good. That being said, the Japanese versions don't have that much Japanese text anyway. <laughs> so I don't think it's too big a deal. I'm not sure if it's been confirmed yet, but I'm fairly sure it's confirmed that you can use your Japanese DIM cards with the... Um, with the English Vital Hero, it will just mean that everything will be in Japanese on those cards because the what you use on here is essentially the software from the cards. So it's all completely compatible, which is really nice. Um, 
there's a few different versions of this Vital Hero coming out. We've got the black one here, which comes with Pulse City, which I believe is just a rehash of Impulse City. I don't think there's anything different with it. But then we have two versions with two unique DIM cards. We have the blue version, which includes the Wolf Howl DIM card. So a bit like we have the Shadow Howl or the True Shadow Howl DIM cards in Japan, we have Wolf Howl here. And you can see we've got both Garurumon and Black Garurumon on this card. And that is because it contains both of those lines. It's kind of like a, a best of between the Gabumon Dib card and the true Shadow Howl Dim cards from Japan. So we'll look at the full list of those in a minute. So the blue one you can get on Amazon.com as well. And then there's a red one which was only recently revealed, which is exclusive to Walmart, I believe, or that's what people believe it's exclusive to Walmart at the moment. And uh, this contains the... Uh, the raw dinosaur raw yeah the dinosaur raw dim card and we're on human losses uh, website here so we can see what's included in these dim cards but the dinosaur raw dim card exclusive to this red bundle which currently they believe is exclusive to walmart so it'll be interesting to see if that's the case but as you can see here in dinosaur raw you've got both agamon and black agamon and then you've got the regular Greymon line up to Omnimon and you've got the regular uh, sorry the black Agumon here so you can go through here up to um, black Omnimon Omnivon Zwart. So it's interesting that it does both of these lines and you've got some things in the middle um, so I imagine these are going to be Jogus evolutions most likely they're interesting dim cards they're obviously just a mishmash of existing ones so there's no Digimon on here which are exclusive to these dim cards if we go down and look at Wolf Howl once again, you've got Digimon that were on the Gabumon Dim card and Digimon that were on the true Shadow Howl Dim card. So it's nothing particularly new. But of course, they are new Dim cards in that sense. So the collector and me will probably want to pick these up. That being said, these are being released in the US. So I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to uh, take the plunge straight away because I'm going to have to import them into the UK, which is going to be a little bit pricey. Um, so not too sure about that just yet. So when it comes to uh, getting an updated Vital Bracelet, if you're in the same position as me where you've got the original Vital Bracelet and you didn't buy the Digivice V, this is probably a good time to upgrade to either the Vital Hero or to the uh, Vital Bracelet BE. I would probably wait and pick up the Vital Bracelet BE potentially. We, we have yet to see exactly all of the features. If you've been using the Japanese Vital Bracelet all this time with no issues and you don't have a problem with importing things, then... This is probably the way to go because it's going to be more advanced, it's going to be newer, and it's going to be more interesting things going on for this BE. It's entirely possible that these BE memories that have been uh, touted won't even be compatible with the regular Vital Bracelet. So if you were looking to pick up the new ones, you would have to pick this up anyway. There's an example of BE memory. Um, so yeah, I am going to wait and see what happens. There's still more to come out about this. It's going to be super interesting. It's cool to see so many things happening at once for Digimon. Um, 2022 looking good already. Really happy about all of this. But uh, that's everything for this news time roundup. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Are you going to be picking up the Vital Hero or the Vital Bracelet BE? Let me know what you think. And I'll be seeing you on another video. Take care.